weekly feature Smart Farm, and high energy and production costs are pushing poultry farmers to eco-friendly and cost-effective methods to brood their chicks. One of those methods entails the use of flameless or fireless brooders made entirely from easily available materials. Our very own Dennis Sutino tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Need to purchase farm inputs like certified seeds, fertilizers or insecticides and are low on cash? Get a financial boost from Equity. Dial star 247 hash, use Equity mobile app, your Equity line or visit any Equity branch to apply and get a loan today. Off the Kisumu Busia Highway, a dusty one kilometer Maram Road leads us to one of the largest poultry farms located in Mutumbu village in Gem, Siaya County. We meet Paul Oketch, one of the poultry farmers here, running this enterprise as one of the seven directors for the last five years. At Obuombe, we do end to end poultry value chain. Somebody might wonder what end to end means. It means we pick an egg, we take it to the incubator, it hatches to a chick, we breed the chick, and the chick we later lay egg, and we take it back to the incubator. Or we can decide to uh, slaughter, the, dress the chicken to the table. Unlike other poultry farmers who use infrared heat lamps or gas brooders to raise chicks, Okech has adopted fireless or flameless brooders to do the work. When Obombe started, as I told you, we were brooding 5,000 chicks to maturity or to four weeks. It was very expensive. We were using infrared, and that is why you can see this kind of cables here. If we dropped that, we used charcoal to provide heat for the birds. That uh, also not only turned to be expensive, but also environmental hazardous. So we dropped that, and we thought of how we would do this without affecting our environment and also reducing the cost. The environmentally friendly brooding machine is made from simple and easily accessible materials. It's that jerry can that we cut into pieces, and it forms a better part of this. Then you may need timber, or wood to give it the structure. According to Oketch, the fireless brooder has a capacity of a hundred chicks. Once they are here, they generate heat by themselves through body contact. It's a natural uh, brooding system. So through body contact, they generate heat. This is a poor conductor of heat. So that heat circulates here. We have vents down here. Those openings, through, out of curiosity, the bird will remove the heat head out and it will find feeds here and water. And after four weeks, the bird is now okay. Now, it cannot die out of, uh, out of heat, uh, out of cold, because it was here when it was one day old. So what you need here is light for the birds to see the feeds, not to provide heat. The plastic fireless brooders have a number of advantages. Oketch says the innovation is reliable and economical, enabling farmers to cut down on production costs. When we're using electricity, it was very expensive. In terms of cash that we would pay, if we have this, this room lit with the infrared, then we were going at around 3,000 shillings after every two weeks. And then you must also supplement a bit with charcoal. When it's very cold, you supplement with charcoal. So it was very expensive. Brooding alone would cost us about 24, 30,000 in four weeks. Today with this, it's zero cost. The brooder will also enable farmers tackle challenges experienced at early stages as chicks are prone to numerous infections such as coccidiosis and Newcastle. But just like any other structure, the fireless brooder is prone to wear and tear after some years. Farmers will therefore have to ensure routine maintenance from time to time. 
Ensuring efficient and constant supply of heat is often a challenge to many small-scale poultry farmers. Okech hopes that farmers would be open to innovations such as this to enable them cut down on one of the most important components in the brooding process, electricity. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by 